Hello there, this is Maria here with the Junk Journal. Today I was looking through these. The very first one was Isaiah 41.10. It's one of my favorite verses. I have chosen a couple images from books that I want to add to this journal. And I really like this. I, lo I love the colors. So that's why I chose the very first card on the pile. Because it was blue. And I wanted to work with these blues. And it happened to be Isaiah 41.10. It says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. So let's see what we can do with this. These go nicely with this, these colors. I like the idea of adding a snippet to the bottom. Um, I just don't know that I want to add this one. I'm going to have to make something. I cut it too short <laughs> for the width of the page. Oh my goodness. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to attach it next to each other with some washi tape or scotch tape even and then sew on it again on the front. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to glue it down and what I do notice is that this does not contrast with this. It's just a bunch of color so there's not a difference between them. It's like they're running together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a pocket and I will attach a card or a piece of ephemera paper whatever that is going to break all these crazy colors and then you will be able to to appreciate this uh, snippet better. There, that makes a difference. Now you can see them better. Pockets are a great way not only to add a bunch of things to stuff them with, that is fun, but also to cover up an image without covering up the image. You can remove your stuff and you can see your image. So if you love the image behind it, you don't want to cover it up, but yet you want to add stuff on top of it. Pockets are great for that. You add a bunch of stuff and the look is very layered and very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what to do here and I have some ideas. I had originally wanted to use this. I think it's a beautiful image but I was looking at other images, pages from flower books that are very pretty. I love to use text um, pages like this that inform you about the plants, the map, and things like that, they're interesting to use as backgrounds. You can learn a little bit from it and have it as a reference, but I'm not sure I'm going to use that. And I found this one that I think is a beautiful page from um, a garden book and talks about oaks harbor a rich variety of wildlife, especially beetles and moth caterpillars which defoliate the trees or set camouflage on the bark. The gnarled trunks and hollowed interiors of the Tudor oaks also provide a refuge for birds and bats. I would like to do a fold out. Those are very much fun to do. Whenever we need to attach large pages to our smaller ones, we can always fold them. Of course, I don't want to use it like this because I don't want to fold this side and this side. So I'm going to do it like this, I think, and fold it like this. Another option that I was contemplating is just folding it <clears throat> and cutting a semicircle here so it creates a big pocket, a large pocket. So it covers the whole page and we can stuff something up here. Maybe I should do that because it's something different. 
and fold this like this. Let's go ahead and do that. I cut the edges a little bit more so it doesn't cover the page as much. It's still a large pocket, but I like the idea that it's a little shorter and I want to put it towards the bottom and put our hole here. So look at what I've done. I am not thinking at all and I am sick about this. I kept saying I have to cut a hole instead of saying I have to cut a semicircle. So what did I do? I went ahead and I went to cut a big hole. I wanted a semicircle. I am so upset about this and it cut out my little moths. Not happy at all because I love this page and I cannot reproduce it. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh my goodness, unbelievable. Not thinking, just not thinking. I could just do this, maybe save it like this. I think I'm going to do this. It doesn't look too bad, you almost cannot tell. I'll just put some washi tape on the back or some scotch tape and it will attach like this. I'm going to fix it and then I can just cut a semicircle there. I cannot believe I've done this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I have saved this page. Ooh, it looks nice. I see the little line here of the circle, but it still looks nice. So, oh goodness gracious. Just being distracted and not focusing. Love this beautiful page. Love it, and I'm glad I, <laughs> I rescued it from its demise. So we have beautiful natural theme and now we have to work with this. We could do this, use this as a fold out and we could <laughs> use, use it as a pocket, open this side as a pocket or yeah, like a little envelope pocket thing. So we insert things here this is a fold out and then this is a fold out and we have our card here. That is fun. It's fun to have all these nice little areas where you just open things up and find little images and surprises. So how fun is this? And then a pocket. So I'm going to need some things to stuff in here and here, Lenny, or room. Maybe a little prayer here. It says, Dear Jesus, take my heart and hand and help me. This I pray that through your sweet love may grow more like you day by day. Amen. Garrison. Oh my goodness, the more I look at it, I think, oh, it's pretty busy. Hmm. This is pretty busy, and so is this, and so is this, <laughs> and so are these. So this is, right now, uh, bothering me a little bit. It's just too much. Of course, I love this, and I like this, but it might be too much. What if I tore it up? Oh, I did it. I tore it up. And I do like this. I can still use this in another 
spread. I've chosen a few papers to use as a background, something more calming. This one may work like this. Okay, peace now, peace. We get to start over. It happens. We forgive ourselves. Yeah, we have to think of how God forgives us, right? And we are so hard on ourselves sometimes. And if we come to the Lord in repentance, He forgives us. He is so faithful and loving and kind. And I think sometimes we have to be kind to ourselves. So <laughs> I know this is something very simple here. But yeah, just it's okay. No big deal. Oh, well, I mean, look at me. I messed up from the very beginning with this beautiful, beautiful image cutting this circle. Unbelievable. And then I messed this up. And however, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So it kind of represents how our life is, right? I mean, we walk through life, we make mistakes, and we we look up to the Lord, and He comes in, and and He gives us a hand, and He gives us options, solutions. He gives us discernment, wisdom, ideas, and so we can fix our mistakes and get back on the straight path. Get back on the straight path towards a narrow gate that's where we need to be but so here you know a little representation we miss up forgive ourselves get back up and keep going so now I cannot afford to mess this up again because if I keep pulling it off um, I'm going to rip the beautiful page that I want to preserve so bad we could do this as a tip in a pocket like this or a card here. No, 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 no. I'm not loving this. So I almost feel like it's this card is just throwing me off. What I can do is cut it out and reframe it in a different color. As simple as that. That would be easy to do. I think this works better. I'm going to go for this. A belly band, I think. I like the belly band in the middle better. With a few little cards like that. That looks much better to me. Okay, I'm going to come back tomorrow with fresh eyes. Fresh eyes today. I decided to go ahead with the belly band. And I'm kind of crazy. I wonder if I will put a little red behind this heart. Just so it shows through. Nice, cute, cute. I like the card with a little red heart peeking through there. It's soft, it's cute, just a little something, not too much. And it's the same paper as this. And here's our belly band, much nicer. And what I've been thinking is, um, I love these snippets. However, I wonder if it's just too much still with this background, even though I have covered the background like this and I thought at first it would be fine the more I, I guess I've looked at it so much and I had so much brightness that it seems like it could have been toned down a bit um, <laughs> I didn't know if I should rip it off and maybe add a different one a different kind of a pocket and it's okay for me it's okay to rip things off and redo them I still enjoy the process of working in my books 
but I like to have an outcome that I'm going to like, that I'm going to enjoy looking at. Sometimes I leave some things that I don't love so much, and I'm okay with that for some reason, but other times I need to fix them. And I'm okay with coming back and fixing them if that's what makes me happy. Some people just leave it. They say, you know, you enjoy the process regardless of the outcome. And I don't know if it's my personality, my perfectionist. I have a hard time with ugly art. <laughs> and I do have some ugly art laying around. I do have it in my other journals that I've made on this channel. And I leave it. Like I said, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So not that this is ugly. It's just I think I'm going to change this. I'm going to create another one maybe or maybe just a regular pocket. Much nicer, much more calming. I found this little journaling card. The colors go perfectly together. These with these. And then this one here, oh, yeah, much better. I definitely like this much better. I want to put something in the middle here. Actually, I can put the verse here in the middle. That looks good there. We have the blues distributed like this in a triangle. going to give this some cardstock background. It is very flimsy. This is the same as this, but this one goes in easily in here. It's harder to get this one in the belly band, so you can use some cardstock. There, very simple. I didn't want to frame it. I just provided a back to make it stronger. That goes in there so much easier. It's sweet and soft. Definitely, we have toned this down. It makes me happier. We could do the same with this one, actually, because it's in the belly band. Let's do that. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> I almost feel like I need a little bit of something brighter on this side because this is so bright. For some reason, this spread is, um, is a bit challenging for me. Sometimes some of them are very easy and others are a bit more difficult. I think I'm going to give this some kind of a top. There, that looks pretty nice. Just a little tie there with fabric, pretty tattered, and makes it easier to pull the card out. I think this is it. Just add some journaling, and that's done. I will leave this alone. <laughs> Okay, I have done some journaling here, just recording some thoughts about what I'm doing, about what the Lord is doing, about the state of the world, and praising the Lord and thanking Him. Here I wrote down the rest of Isaiah 41.10 because here it says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. But also says after that, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's Isaiah 41.10 completed. So I completed it here on this card. And just different kinds of thoughts. And things that are happening. So you see how easy it is to use 
images from books and just add some pretty little um, ribbons or fabric ties and just create something special. This is simple now and um, I started with something more elaborate trying to do um, more fold outs out of this <laughs> with this and it was the idea I like that idea it's really cool but it was so bright so I still plan on using my cute little snippets and this anyway I hope that you have enjoyed this session it's been full of errors mistakes but we keep going when that happens and in real life you know we keep going the Lord gives us the grace with, to keep going and remember not to be afraid or discouraged because God is with you and he will lift you up he will strengthen you no matter what thank you for joining me you'll be very blessed we will see you next time bye-bye